Hi, this is Mr. Go. Today we're going to take a look at uh, electron configurations using noble gas notation. Uh, from our lecture, we've already talked about uh, writing electron configurations, and you should be pretty proficient with that at this point. Um, so I'm going to show you a shortcut today on how to write electron configurations. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a noble gas that's closest to the element without going over the element's atomic number. And we're going to put that uh, noble gas in brackets and then start the electron configuration from where that noble gas left off. For example, let's take a look at a small um, atom, like beryllium. Okay, Let's write the electron configuration for it first. So this is 1s2, 2s2. Simple. Now, if we want to write beryllium in noble gas notation, what we do is we pick a noble gas that's closest to beryllium. In this case, it's helium. Okay, Helium is the closest noble gas and what we do is we put helium in brackets and then continue from where helium left off, which happens to be 2s2. Note that this right here is the electron configuration for helium. And what we're doing is just instead of writing out all of these different uh, terms right here, we're just putting the noble gas right here uh, that's closest to it and then continuing again from where it left off. So let's take a look at another example. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at uh, something that's in the third energy level, like sulfur. Now let's write the electron configuration for it really quick, the complete one. So that's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and then 3p4. Now note that since this is... Um, closer to argon than it is to neon, you might think that argon would be the noble gas that you would pick. But that's incorrect because sulfur has an atomic number of 16. And we can't pick argon because it's atomic number 18. So we need to pick the noble gas that's below it, which happens to be neon. So if I was writing the noble gas notation for sulfur, I'd write neon. And then 3s2, 3p4. Now note that this right here, okay, what I'm boxing in red, is the electron configuration for neon. And I'm just writing a shorthand version of it, so I'm converting that into this, and then starting from where I left off, right here. Cool? All right, let's do something that's a little bit more challenging. Um, let's take a look at one that's in the D block, like silver, AG. Okay? This will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, uh, 3d10, and then 4p6, 5s2, and then 4d9. Now that's a long electron configuration. We don't need to actually write it out like this, if we're going to write this in noble gas notation, we would just pick the closest noble gas to this. So it would be krypton, okay, krypton. And note that I'll go ahead and underline what the electron configuration for krypton would be. It's right here, okay. And then I'll just go ahead and start from where it left off. So this will be 5s2, 4d9. And that's the electron configuration for silver using noble gas notation. Noble gas notation. All right. And that's it for today. Uh, check out the new video that's coming out on uh, energy diagrams for electron configurations, and we'll talk to you soon.